Well, I must thank everybody for all the help and support and advice provided uh, trying to get this little engine to run. Um, I've, I've had some fantastic suggestions, so I really appreciate it. Um, especially from um, Earl Abbott in, in Delaware. Uh, Earl has um, sort of emailed me a considerable number of times um, trying to advise me on how to get this running. I think he must have met about a dozen of these little engines in the past and he's still making them. And uh, so I really appreciate that. Um, I mean, unfortunately, uh, I've had the odd uh, nasty comment, but uh, you know that's the uh, risk you're running uh, putting anything public on on the internet these days. So uh, that's a bit of a shame, but hey, oh, that's uh, that's the way it is. Um, but anyway, in this video, hopefully, I'm actually going to get this engine running. Okay, so based upon uh, various comments I received in the previous video. I decided to uh, recut the intake valve seat using the method suggested. So it was a matter of taking the head off, uh, putting the valve back in the head, and uh, putting a, a, um, a chuck on this end, uh, not attached to anything, uh, a Jacob's chuck, and then um, put the lapping paste on the seat and then rotate the head in your hand, left and right, and that has actually has given a far better finish. Um, I think if you just rotate it in a drill, uh, you get grooves, um, and a few people commented on that, and uh, the dead right you do. Um, so having done that, um, I decided to put a weaker spring on the intake valve. I've changed the gap on the spark plug, that was set to 15 thou, I've changed that to 25 thou. Um, on the test run, what I'll do is I'll uh, put the fuel tank higher with the a fuel pipe uh, entry level with the mixer so hopefully that will address any sort of air issues uh, but in the longer term I'm going to use this check valve now um, in terms of piston rings um, I think I've come across a significant problem because the drawing suggests using Boona N rings which are actually nitrile as I understand it. Now when I first tried getting this engine to run uh, I used methanol as a fuel and I've looked up uh, or found out by looking at a chart that uh, methanol and nitrile just really don't get on together. Um, the drawing also suggests acetone. Now acetone is one uh, heck of a, I think it's a quite, quite a um, something that you know dissolves everything and it don't work very well with uh, nitrile either so that's out as well and uh, Coleman fuel I don't think they get on very well with Coleman fuel so what I've decided to do uh, and I'm still waiting to to get um, are some uh, Viton uh, o-rings now Viton I think um, works a little bit better with Coleman fuel um, not 100% um, and I think if my time was to come again, um, I think I'd look to put some uh, cast iron piston rings on this uh, rather than mess around with these things. I just don't like them. Um, so, um, so the next area to look at was timing. Now I did some fine adjustment on the uh, exhaust valve timing. Now uh, the gap here needs to be 10 thou, um, which it is. It wasn't before, and if I just put this little feeler gauge in here, it's um, one and a half thou. This is just a feel when this engages in the top of the valve, and the idea is that when it's coming down towards the exhaust stroke, um, it should start opening this valve 40 degrees or so before bottom dead center. I can just feel that opening there. If you see there, that's around about 40 degrees. 40 degrees. Now, if I go around on the exhaust cycle, right round, the exhaust valve should open just before or around the top dead centre. And sure enough, it does. Bearing in mind that's one and a half thou, so it is round about there that the exhaust just closes. 
Now for the ignition, um, I made a bit of a schoolboy error here and I didn't read the instructions right on this uh, Minimag module and what, what I've been doing is I've been timing the ignition so um, when the LED light comes on I was assuming that's when the uh, spark plug sparks um, so I've been doing my timing based on that and I've been trying to get it so it's top dead centre um, for it for the spark plug to fire uh, I got loads of comments about before top dead center after top dead center the the instructions suggest top dead center or, or just after that so I'm going for around top dead center and um, unfortunately when this light goes on the spark plug doesn't spark the spark plug sparks when it goes off so my ignition was firing oh, way, way after top dead center so having understood that now if I switch it on and you see there it's come on uh, but the spark plug hasn't sparked you'll probably hear it spark when it goes off turn it slowly there so the spark plug sparks and it's just past top dead center so I'm really happy I've got the ignition right so the uh, Viton O-ring has arrived, so we'll give it a try. Hey! Let's get the governor going on it now, I think. gets it up to 650 and it uh, fires when it gets down to about 570 hey happy with that that could, could probably do with a um, slightly um, less heavier spring it's certainly running well Hey, the hit and miss engine. Well, I'm absolutely over the moon. I can't believe I got it running. Uh, I was really, really worried um, earlier on in the day. Um, but anyway, um, I I'm really happy with the result. I think the governor maybe needs a little bit of adjustment. Um, it's getting up to, I think, a maximum speed around about 670 or something like that, which I think is probably a bit too high, and then it kicks back in at around about 550. Um, so I maybe need to put a little bit of a weaker spring on there. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for the help and support and advice. I mean, it's uh, 10 months <laughs> to get to this point, and especially thanks to Earl, who uh, really uh, you know give me encouragement to uh, keep pursuing it because um, uh, I was getting really worried it wasn't going to run <laughs> um, but anyway uh, I, I think my next video oh one thing I was going to mention is uh, this little engine on the governor lever needs a really really small spring and somebody mentioned I can't remember his name got a few videos ago um, that a great source of those are these little big lighters and there's uh, a couple of springs in there of uh, different different sizes and one of them is perfect uh, for going under that lever uh, on the governor um, but anyway uh, I, th I think my next video is probably going to be um, making a fuel tank 
or if, if I miss that one out it'll be uh, showing you the, uh, the the final product I'll have it on a, a little you know support and uh, I'll have tarted it up a bit uh, painted it and what have you uh, but anyway I hope you like the result and I hope to see you later